Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to Stories with Pastor Macy and Wesley. We have another story today as we are nearing the end of our 25 days of Christmas stories in the month of December. Let's unwrap today's, today's book. You want to help? You want that? Yeah. Today's book is from the Beginner's Bible. It is the very first Christmas. It is, let's see if we have an author here. We don't. We don't know who wrote it, but it's by Zonderkids. An angel visits Mary, Luke 1, 26 to 38. God sent an angel named Gabriel to visit a young woman. Her name was Mary. She was scared. She had never seen an angel before. Gabriel said, don't be afraid. You are special to God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be called the son of the most high God. Mary asked, how can this be so? I'm not Mary. Gabriel answered, with God, all things are possible. Mary said, I love God. I will do what he has chosen me to do. Baby Jesus is born. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Mary loved Joseph. Mary and Joseph were going to be married soon. Joseph lived in Nazareth, but his family lived in Bethlehem. A new leader named Caesar ordered all of the people to go back to their homeland. He wanted to count all the people in the kingdom. So Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Mary was going to have her baby soon. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a safe place to sleep, but all the rooms were full. Finally, a man was able to help them. He offered them his stable. They decided to make the best of it. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest. While they were there, baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently laid him in a manger. The Shepherds Visit, Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. On the night Jesus was born, shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly, an angel stood before them. God's light shined all around them. The angel said, do not be afraid. I bring good news to all the people today in the town of Bethlehem. A savior is being born. He's laying in a manger. Then a choir of angels appeared. They sang glory to God in the highest, peace and goodwill to everyone on earth. The shepherds rushed to Bethlehem. They were There they found baby Jesus. They told Mary and Joseph what the angels had said. As they returned to their sheep, the shepherds told everyone what they had seen and heard all along the way. The shepherds sang the praises of God. The bright star and the three visitors. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky. Some wise men who lived far away saw this star. They knew it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. The wise men followed the star. On their day, on, on their way, they decided to stop in the city of Jerusalem to sing King Herod. The wise men asked him about the baby king. Now Herod was a mean king. He tried to trick the wise men. You must find the baby king so I can worship him too, Herod said. But that was a lie. He wanted to get rid of this new baby king. When the wise men left Herod's palace, they followed the star. The star led them to Bethlehem. There they found young Jesus. They worshipped him and gave him gifts fit for a king, gold and sweet-smelling spices. After the wise men left Jesus, an angel appeared to them in a dream. He warned them, do not go back to King Herod. So they went home but on a different road. An angry king, Matthew 2, verses 13 to 23. When the wise men did not return, King Herod became very angry. He 
yelled at his soldiers, go find the boy. I will be the only king of the Jews. But God's angel warned Joseph in a dream. Take your family and escape to Egypt. Do not return until I tell you that it is safe. That night, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus left for Egypt. Years later, God's angel said to Joseph in a dream, King Herod is dead. Now it is safe to leave Egypt. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus left Egypt and went back home to Nazareth. When Jesus grew up, he did many amazing things. He healed sick people and calmed dangerous storms. He fed thousands of people from just a little bit of food. He could do these things because he was God's son. Jesus loved people so much, he died on a cross for everybody's sins. He is in heaven now. Someday he will come back to take all the people who love him to heaven. The end. Thank you for joining us today for uh, the very first Christmas from the Beginner Bible Zonder Kids uh, series. And we hope to see you tomorrow, Christmas Eve, and on Sabbath on Christmas for our last two Christmas stories. I hope you have enjoyed all the stories this month. We have certainly enjoyed sharing them with you. Have a wonderful Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.